Charles Dubronx Oliveira has come a long way. He's had his ups and downs, but he proved that if you keep believing in yourself, everything is possible. And I don't have an overarching point. I have an observation. Because when I see Charles Oliveira, I see something special. I see a very special talent. Wins over Clay Guida. Just the tap. Charles Oliveira by submission. Jim Miller. There's the tap. Charles Oliveira does it again. Nick Lentz. Oh! Big right from Oliveira. Hammer fist. Nick Lentz is down. Charles Duprox Oliveira. Kevin Lee. Watch that neck. This Kevin is Lee. bad. Oliveira forces the tap. Submission. Tony Ferguson. Outside kick. Look at this. Just picks him up and slams him. I mean, to be able to do that to Tony Ferguson is crazy. He just keeps getting better. I think that's what we're seeing. He, <laughs> he just is. keeps getting better. He is. What you just did to Tony Ferguson was truly amazing. Uh, a lot of people got to give uh, some credit here to Charles Oliveira and his striking, how far that's come. With 19 submission wins, Charles Oliveira holds the most submissions in UFC history and also is the owner of the first ever calf slicer. Oliveira is something special. If you give Oliveira the smallest window to sink a submission in, it's almost a guaranteed finish. We have finally got the lightweight title fight after Habib Nurmagomedov has just officially retired completely. Dana is not going to pursue him anymore. The fight is going to be between Charles Oliveira and Michael Chandler. Meu humildade sempre a mesma. É meu momento, é a minha hora. Tá chegando, tá próximo. There's no way to deny, deny it. I'm one of the best in the world. I'm ready. The belt's going to be mine. The world, Charles Dubois Oliveira. Got to start giving Charles credit for being a very well-rounded fighter. He's not just this jujitsu guy that we've known him for over the years. He's actually very legit as well. So, you know, Oliveira pulled it out. to this contest at one minute 35 seconds of the very first round declared the winner by knockout Michael the Venice Johnson since that knockout loss to Michael Johnson which really had me concerned for his career that's going to stick with you for a while or we're past now we're at 155 we've new challenges ahead yeah we have new challenges ahead I'm not going to you know, stare in the rear view. Um, I have a long career ahead of me and a lot more fights, a lot more wins. So that was just, you know, part of my process of growing and becoming a world champion. This is what I do. I live for this. Every day. All day. This is who I am. I'm a fighter at heart. I'll never quit in here. What does the future hold? Just look at the, just look at my track record. Eddie Alvarez, former champ. Anthony Pettis, former champ. Justin Gagey, former champ. Justin oh, Poirier, goodness. Knockout. Oh my God. Score cards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49, 46 for the winner by unanimous decision and new interim UFC lightweight champion of the world, Dustin the Diamond Warrior. Man, this feels amazing. I feel like I'm in a dream right now. To be the best, you gotta beat the best. Right now, I'm the champ. And this sets you up for a fight with Khabib Nurmagomedov for the undisputed title. So give us your thoughts on that. In the words of our buddy Daniel Cormier, get your together, young man. We got a belt to fight for. The winner, a new champion, ladies and gentlemen, Dustin Poirier. Cage is gonna close. I'm gonna mull him, like always. And it's not really. That's in. That's in. Nurmagomedov under the chin. There's the top. Khabib Nurmagomedov, 28-0! And still, 
anything adversity has taught me in the past is when times are good, be grateful. And when times like this, be graceful. Conor McGregor has signed his contract. It is now official that he is going to be fighting Dustin Poirier. Oh We're one and one. We have to do it again. He's broken. I think his he broke his leg. Oh, oh no! His leg's broken. He said it. I mean, obviously that's the fight to make, the title fight. Did you speak to Charles or Dustin? Like any idea, like how soon they'd like to fight? Based on a doctor's stoppage, declaring the winner by... Do his thing until, until Connor's ready. Yeah, you said it. I mean, obviously, that's the fight to make, the title fight. Did you speak to Charles or Dustin? Like, any idea, like, how soon they'd like to fight? In terms of the winner of this fight, it is Dustin Poirier. He has that number one ranking. Do you think that this performance now makes him next in line for this thing right here, that UFC lightweight world title? E agora, mais uma vez, ele se a isso. Em dezembro, a gente vai estar pronto. Actually, it's a fight that I thought that it was going to happen. It has been, it had to happen for a long time, and... If this happens, I'm ready to go. So who's next for Charles Oliveira? Who do you think it'll be? What do you What do you do with Dustin next? The purest option is Charles Oliveira. Corey is the clearest, most obvious number one contender. That's the way to do it. And this fight summarizes who Dustin Poirier is as a fighter. But Oliveira is so technical, man. He's like, he's so beautiful the way he moves, man. Everything he does is perfect. Like his jujitsu is perfect. His striking is perfect. Yeah. But oh, he's like a flamingo. He's like yeah. that violent flamingo. And we finally have the news. Charles Oliveira versus Dustin Poirier is targeted for December 11th to headline UFC 269. Charles Oliveira is going to be defending his belt, but more importantly than that, we get to find out who really is the best lightweight in the world today. When we talk about Dustin Poirier, we talk about easily one of the absolute best lightweights. The big fight, it almost seems like this is the perfect time. These guys will fight. One of them will win the title. Their careers will speak for themselves. I'm here with the champ, Charles Oliveira, ladies and gentlemen. I have to thank God, you know, Charles is coming. Come prepared because I'm coming. Dustin Poirier, ladies and gentlemen. I'll never quit here. I'll die in here. This is who I am. I'm a fighter at heart. I think most would argue you deserve an opportunity to fight for this championship. It's finally here. When you have two of the baddest dudes in the world in their prime facing off for the world title, nothing gets better than this. A lot of people think Dustin Poirier is the best lightweight, but then there's people who think that Charles Oliveira is. Only one way to find out. This man just gets better and better with every single out. Dustin Poirier finally getting a chance once again to lift the real title. They have similar career trajectories, right? Chances are Poirier will give Oliveira his toughest fight so far. Oh, Michael Bisping. Oh. The tension of a UFC championship main event, fans or otherwise. UFC lightweight championship of the world is...